Hi, Bill Barber from Polygon here. In this video, we're going to look at how to properly make use of our displacement textures in 3ds Max with Arnold. Before we get started, let's take a look at the material we'll be using. It's Ground Asphalt Broken 001 and is easily one of my favorite ground textures here at Polygon. Um, it's brilliant for demonstrating this displacement, which is why I picked it. <laughs> um, I've already got the 4K version saved to my hard drive and I'll include a link um, below the video. As a note, uh, I would recommend getting the, the 4K version if you're going to be following along because with displacement you really do want as much detail from the texture as possible. So let's take a look at what it is we're going to be doing. You've probably heard of a bump map before which is used to artificially give the impression of height in a material. Well a displacement map is different. It is used to literally deform the object based on the values of the texture with the black areas being the deep crevices and the white areas being the peaks. It results in a far more realistic material. Okay, so let's look at recreating this effect in Arnold. First of all, we have, uh, let's have a look at the scene. We have a plane and a camera and a HDR lighting setup, and that is it. So first of all, we're gonna to need to bring in our material. Now I've covered the use of our material converter in a previous video, which I'll uh, link below, uh, below this one. But first of all, we need to bring in our ground asphalt broken material. So I'll load that in, jump over to the material editor, click on our floor plane, drag in the material into the slate editor and then assign it. Now it's saying do you want to replace it here, that's just because this was the file I was using to, to make sure I got my settings right, so <laughs> ignore that. And there we go, so that's the material assigned. Now if we run a render to see what it looks like as is, we will be presented with this hideous thing. <laughs> so yeah, our first step is to uh, change the the uh, the scale of this texture on, on the plane because it's way too zoomed in. So let's cancel that render. Uh, jump over to the modifier list. I'm just gonna type in UV and unwrap UVW and then open up in the editor and that will allow us to scale this UV a little which is what we want. Let's just go over to scale and then scale it up a bit. Something like that should probably be fine, but let's have a look. Yeah, it's a bit more like it, maybe a little bit further. Cancel, thank you. So yeah, maybe a little bit further of a scale, maybe to about there. And that should work pretty well for us. Yeah, nice. So by default, the texture doesn't look terrible. It's quite clearly a, a PBR material, getting nice different levels of reflectivity um, and whatnot, but it's looking somewhat flat. Um, <laughs> and that this is where displacement comes in. So by default, you'll notice that if we go into the editor here, it's brought in the color, the reflection, the gloss, the normals, we've even got an ambient occlusion, and it's connected up all the nodes and done all that, so that's great. But there's no displacement map, and there definitely is one included within this material. So we're gonna to need to sort that out ourselves. So I'm gonna go up to the modifier list, and we want to add in an Arnold Properties modifier. Yeah? And then we have some options to play with, namely displacement and subdivision, both of which we're gonna turn on, We'll leave the settings for now, but with those turned on, um, you'll now notice we've got this map for displacement, so we need to put something in there. So I'm gonna load up the material uh, editor here, and just on a blank bit, I'm going to right mouse button, go to materials, general, no, sorry, maps, general, and then bitmap. And then from here, we can bring in our bitmap manually, so. I keep my materials here and where is it? Ground, asphalt, broken, 4K. And then we've got two displacement textures, um, a normal one and a 16-bit one. We want the 16-bit one. So I'm gonna click that. Uh, I'm also gonna click override because we don't want any gamma corrections applied to this. We want the texture in its raw sort of state. And then I'm gonna hit open. So we now have our map, excellent. And then with the uh, little noodle bit clicked on. I'm gonna drag that over to the map, 
and copy in an instance of it. And now we can see the map listed in our Arnold Properties modifier and I've clicked on Use Map. So that should be it, right? Let's have a look. We'll hit Render. And yeah, it hasn't really changed. <laughs> um, and don't worry, this is to be expected. We've got everything in place that we need to pull this off. It's just a matter of tweaking the values. So let's have it head over to displacement here. And first we're gonna up the height quite a bit, maybe something like four. And what we also need to do though, is give the uh, displacement more geometry to work with. Yeah, because at the moment it's got none really. So um, let's go to first the iterations of the subdivision. We're gonna up that to something like seven. That should be quite a bit. And then we're also gonna use some adaptive displacement um, via the edge length, yeah? Just change it to edge length and that will, uh, adaptive displacement will just dis displace things, will displace this more the closer it is to the camera. Yeah, hence saving some of the, uh, some of the uh, memory usage from, uh, from subdivision. Um, and then we'll just pretty much leave this as it is. And I think that should just about do us. Yeah. Okay, so let's try that and see if we get a bit of an improvement. It will take a little longer to build the scene up because it's having to generate all that geometry. Yeah. Starting to get a bit more like it. And at this point, it literally is just a matter of playing with the settings until you get something that looks about right. So what I'm gonna do is cancel that, up the subdivisions one more level. You don't wanna to go too high with this, otherwise you'll very quickly use up every little bit of memory in your machine, <laughs> which is not ideal. I'm also gonna up the height to six, and we'll give that another try. Now, I'd definitely argue we could go even higher with the uh, displacement there, but it, it is just a matter of tweaking until you get the, the result that you're after. But uh, yeah, I think for the purpose of a tutorial, we can call that job done. So in summary, we've brought in the material from polygon.com, um, set up a couple of modifiers to assist with our displacement, played with the values a little until we got the uh, the sort of result that we were looking for, and then rendered it out using Arnold.